Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics. Today we're going to show you how to get rid of those grass clippings, um, how to compost them. Sometimes we end up with so many of them um, and you don't know what to do with them. You don't want to fill up the landfills with them, so we're going to compost them. So what we want to do is actually layer them with something else because if you just have straight grass clippings, a lot of times they'll just mash together and they don't compost real well. So if we just take some grass clippings and if we have leaves or something else that we can just layer with, we're doing this on a small scale. Typically we want to have a three by three by three size for a good compost that's manageable for a home gardener. Now we're going to keep layering it. I like to add some blood meal to help break it down even though the leaves have the nitrogen in them. If you add some blood meal to it, it helps go faster. You can also add to make your compost more complete some bone meal to it. This is going to add some phosphorus to it and we're going to wet it down with each layer. These layers can definitely be bigger than what we're doing here. Another layer, some more leaves and then again some more bone meal and some more blood meal and wet it down. You could also take all of this and do the same thing within your uh, roller composter. Uh, you could do it in a bin. You don't have to necessarily do it out like this. Okay, once we've built this pile up and we're, we're pretty tall, then we can also cover it with some burlap and keep that wet. Uh, we don't want it to be too wet or otherwise it'll start to stink. We want it to, to be like a wrung out sponge to where you squeeze it and you don't have much water come out at all. You can turn this every few days, three to four to five days and the faster you turn it, the more it's going to heat up. You can also get a thermometer and stick in there, a compost thermometer. That'll let you know if it's getting hot enough. You got to remember that you want the outside of the compost coming to the inside so that everything gets broke down. So that would be how you would actually stir it, would be from the outside in. Then just keep it covered and if it feels like it's dry, go ahead and add some more water to it. If it's too, too wet and it's starting to get a little stinky, you've added too much water, some things that you could do is just to add some peat moss into it and that'll help dry it out and take the smell away right away for, for you. That's pretty easy to do to compost your grass clippings. That's all there is.